are back for Mondays with DJ Thielen. My gosh, you guys are putting extra stank on it tonight, I have to say. More stank than usual. Our studio audience tonight will be winning prizes. We have great things to give away like these. Two tickets to the San Diego County Fair. If you want to win prizes like that, so just check us out on tonightinsandiego.com. And you can also go to Instagram or Twitter and post something and hashtag it, Tonight in San Diego. Our next guest is from 94.1. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Shelly Wade. <laughs> They played Prince for you. We noticed, <laughs> noticed the the symbol on the fingernail right there. Yes, I don't know. You guys can't see it up close, but I have Prince's symbol mm -hmm. on my um, on my fingernail. Yes. I've been a Prince fan since I was a little girl, so That's I'm pretty nice. yeah broken up about his dad. I know it's very yeah. sad, but I mean it's a good <laughs> thing that he changed his name, otherwise it would take up all your fingernails. I know, fingers. right? <laughs> Uh, so, Shelly, thank you so much for coming on the show. Thank you um, for having me, guys. I'm excited for you. This is a, you have a new gig now. You just started this week. I do. Star um, 94.1. Yeah, a week ago I started on Star 94.1 FM. You guys, please do tune in. Um, I want to shout out to our star listeners. To all, can I shout out? Can shout I do some it shout out? Outs? Shout so out. So used to doing shout outs. I want to shout out to Jesse and Delena. To. Uh, <laughs> I call in. You know. To uh, my other co-workers, Sakuna and Shelly. There's, a, there's another Shelly in the building, also Hitman Hayes. And um, we, have, we have Ryan Seacrest and... Uh, Ryan Seacrest? Yeah, Mario Lopez, all on, on Star 94.1 wow. FM. Wow, yeah. gosh. Uh, that's awesome. I want to shout yeah. out Conan O'Brien. <laughs> I don't know who else I can shoot out. Uh, who I could shoot out. What? Um, so, the, so the name of the show, The Rage, All the Rage with Shelley Wade? All the Rage all with Shelley Wade. Just all the things that are exciting to me. You know, what's, what's the rage today? And, you get, and so it's an afternoon show. You get to yeah. play music. And, yeah. And do, now, I know that you've done morning radio as well. How does this compare? Yeah, that was back in my hometown of Houston. Anyone from Houston? Any That's Houston us? fans in the house? Not many. H-Town? No. H-Town. <laughs> yeah, I did mornings, and what was the question? Sorry. Well, I mean, how does that, like for me, I mean, we have to do tonight in San Diego, because I cannot yeah. get up. We and couldn't do like this morning in San Diego. We're the exact opposite. You would hate me. I'm, I'm a complete morning person. I'm that person that wakes up in the morning at 5. I'm like, yes, oh, you're, let's you're, get into the day. One of those you would hate me. people. Yeah, I, w I wake up at 5 without an alarm clock. So yeah. you I would, up 5 in the morning? Yeah, yeah five, 5, 6, maybe 6. You know, I see I, those even people. Even on Saturdays and Sundays, I wake up that early by myself. Yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> those are the people that are talking at Starbucks. Right? <laughs> when you go in there, like, hey, hey, hey. you're like, just get out of the way, move it. You know. Those are my I people. I need my butt chugger chino. <laughs> <laughs> uh, those are my people. They like butt stuff. <laughs> um, so, so afternoon is, is fine, but really morning would be more your speed. You'd rather be up and get started and get going. I'm not complaining about working in the afternoons. I actually like it. You guys, I'm on at 2 o'clock every afternoon if you want to uh, check it out. But um, I wake up at 5 or 6. I'm probably what you do. I'm on the computer, checking out what's going on on the That sites. is what I do at 5 or 6. <laughs> Mostly on the computer. I'm, you know, watching all of the morning shows, you know, just, you know, soaking in all of the celeb gossip and, and pop culture. Preparing, preparing. Preparing, preparing. So nice. I'm already up preparing. So when you guys hear me at 2 o'clock, I've been preparing for hours. Oh, that's great. Yeah. I, <laughs> I prepared, right before this show, I ate a piece of pizza with a wolf. I that's saw I you! <laughs> that's generally how I prepare for the show. Uh, but you, I mean, you've got you've a real celebrity, met like, you know, all kinds of people. I'm just starting on this process, uh -huh. and so I'm looking for advice on interviews. I know that you've interviewed some really big people, and some heroes too, like uh, Lenny Kravitz and yeah. Janet Jackson. Yeah, and, yeah. Those are um, yeah. That's amazing. I mean, what do you even say to someone like that when you meet him? Are you like starstruck or were you, you even met Prince once, I right? I did get I mean, a chance to meet Prince. What was that I did. like? That was like um, it was... It was really incredible. It was an epic night because I went to see him. Not only did I have front row center tickets, I got up on stage and danced with him that night. It was, wasn't just me and Prince. Wow. It was like I was on stage with a bunch but of people. But it felt like it was just but you I and was, Prince, right? Yes, just in him. my head, in my head. 
And then uh, at the after show, because Prince doesn't just have, well, he didn't just have after uh, parties, he had after shows. He would perform a whole show after the show at a different, you know, at a smaller venue. Um, and at the after show backstage, I had a chance to meet him. Yeah. Wow. That's bad. Did he make you pancakes like the story? No, he didn't. He didn't, he didn't do that. We play, didn't play basketball. Didn't play basketball, no pancakes. We didn't eat pancakes together, none of that. Myth busting right yeah, here with Prince. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, so, but you get nervous when you're starstruck when you meet someone like that? Or, you know? I guess it depends. You know, I, I didn't really know how to feel because I didn't know whether I was going to get to meet him or not. Someone told me I may yeah. get a chance to meet, but I wasn't sure. I didn't believe it until it actually happened. So I don't think I had the chance to be really nervous. But I did wonder if I would faint, and I didn't faint. Yeah. You know, I really <laughs> did. I wondered if I would faint because I've been a Prince fan since I was a little girl. Right. So I really wondered, can I hold this together? Am I going to faint? Um, actually. Had a little sense, yeah. <laughs> and was he as tiny as, as we imagined he would he be? He was, and I was, he was. Um, I actually, he had heels on, and I'm only 5'4". Yeah. Um, and he had heels on, and I was still taller than him. Oh, really? Yeah. 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 But a big voice, though. Yeah, big voice, and big personality. And big yeah. personality. And speaking of a uh, big voice, you actually got to sing the national anthem? I mean, that is yeah. talk about bucket list stuff. Tell me you were nervous for that. You must have been nervous for that. I wasn't, you know, like for two weeks. That was weeks, Madison Square Garden, right? Yeah, Matt, I sang the national anthem at a New York Knicks game. Um, I lived in New York for 12 years before I moved to San Diego. And I sang the national anthem um, at a New York Knicks game, well, ahead of one. And that was at the time when the Knicks sucked. They were losing right. everything. And I sang the national anthem and they won. And so I keep saying that I was their That's good luck. That's why they won. I was their good luck charm. Did you sing for the Padres? Yeah, can you? <laughs> What was the question? Keith wants to know. Will you sing for the Padres? You know what? That's a possibility. Yeah. We'll see. That would help. And so that they can win, yeah. right? Yeah, let's make that happen. I just so, feel like, I mean, singing the national, that's so much pressure when you go out there. I feel like I would just, I'd forget all the words, you know? Like, I need, I need cue cards just to know my own name, honestly. Like, I'm, <laughs> I'm like, coming up next is... J Jesse show? I don't know. <laughs> By the way, cue card guy spelled my name incorrectly. It's S H E L E Y. Oh. It's one. Jesse, 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 Jesse. <laughs> that's actually the other the other Shelly from your work. Oh, that's, that's okay, that that's the other Shelly. Got it. That's not this Shelly. So where can they where can they hear you? Then they're they're gonna hear you two o'clock. Two o'clock every on, day. Uh, Star ninety four one FM. Um, I am also going to be on the talk on CBS. Coming up uh, June 20th, uh, July 18th, I'm going to be on the Today Show with Kathy Lee and Hoda. Please uh, set your DVRs. Ooh, very nice. Fantastic. Thank you so much for coming on the show. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it for Shelly Wade one more time. We'll be right back after this with Lexi Polito. That was great.